I S U P K. This is the ISUPK under Commander General Yohanna at a 1 West 125th Street, Harlem, New York. And um, I know uh, Israel is going through hell. They stressed out about everything. They, they uh, stressed out about work, about uh, job, about their they sister, about bills and all of this stuff. They are uh, smoking weed, cigarettes, to coke. They doing all of these things to try to say that, uh, to try to get through all the things that they're going through. But this that you're doing, it, it's not of the Lord. Smoking weed is killing you, man. It's giving you diseases. For, for the women, it's making you masculine. It's, it's a study that came out that Women who smoke weed, they get ma they gain masculinity. They gain testosterone. When when a woman smokes weed, they gain testosterone, and when a man smokes weed, they gain uh, wh what do women have? Uh, 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 what's that hormones. called? Hormones. They gain hormones. They get emotional. They uh get emotional, they start going to church, they start smacking on tambourines, and all of that. They get emotional. Smoking weed for a man turns you into a female. Turns you into a woman. Turns you soft. It turns you docile to the world that you're living in. When you're walking around high, you docile out of everything. Some dude can walk and, uh, Step on your shoe, beat your woman up, steal your wallet, and you docile. You over, oh, it's okay, man. Just, you know what I'm saying? You high. You floating in the stars. You seeing uh, alien, aliens. You seeing aliens, lizards. <laughs> you seeing all of this stuff in the corner, smoking. Go ahead and grab that first scripture, Barker Shaw. Come on, come Proverbs chapter 17 or chapter 16 verse 27 an ungodly man diggeth and, up evil an ungodly man diggeth up evil you ungodly you dig it up dig it up evil you sin it you transgressing the law you ain't following what the Lord is telling you to do and in his lips there is as a burning fire an ungodly man and that ungodly man's lips is a burning fire. You smoking weed, getting high, you popping whores, you in a club, you all over the place. You smoking weed, you ungodly. You don't care what, what the Lord is saying. You don't care what, about following the law, statutes and commandments. You don't care about your fellow brother in, the, in, that, in that same condition that you in. Ungodly man has a flame in his mouth, smoking. Every time you go downtown, Minneapolis, all you see is smokers. Every corner you turn. I hate going downtown. 
all you smell is trash cans walking around in people's hands. That's all you smell is, is, is people smoking. And then in every hood, on every block you smell outside, you outside walking down the street, all you smell is weed. That's it. That's all you smell. It's ungodly out there, these people smoking weed and cigarettes and whatever else you can smoke. Go ahead. You want me to keep going with that? Yeah. Calm, calm. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Proverbs 16-27. Uh, ungodly man is smoking weed, getting high, can't even focus, <clears throat> is, is dumb and all out of his mind while the white man is building up his army, shooting your babies in the, in, in the, uh, in the streets. They building their armies, going and taking over countries while you in the hood high all day. Go ahead. One more Verse time. 28. From, from, from 27. <clears throat> Proverbs chapter 16, verse 27. An ungodly man diggeth up evil. An ungodly man diggeth up evil. You digging up evil every time you pull out that cigarette. Every time you smoking that weed. Every time you in distress or every time you trying to have a good time. You want to abuse marijuana or THC or whatever you want to call it. You want to go and dab in a corner. You want to uh, get a cigarette. Go ahead. And in his lips there is as a burning fire. Every you ungodly if you smoking weed, smoking cigarettes. That's you right. are a sin sinner. You are sinning against the Lord. A sin is a transgression against the law. You are against what the Lord is telling you to do. Your body is supposed to be a temple for the Lord. You are supposed to serve the Lord. You are supposed to do what the Lord is telling you to do. But you too busy getting high. You digging up evil. Every time you get high, you want to fill on every other man's wife. You want to go in the club and, and fill on every woman that pass you by. Or you just want to kill yourself. You smoking weed. You can't deal with all the stress that you're going through in your life, so you want to smoke weed. Go ahead and grab uh, 1 Corinthians 3 and 17. Come on, come on. You want to defile yourself and continue to sin. You want to dig up evil. You want, why you hide, evil is going to find you, man. Evil is going to find, find you like they found, uh, Fernando Castile. You're going to be the next man getting shot in the street by the police. You're going to be the next man getting getting uh, shot by, by your uh, best friend that you knew since you was a kid. You're going to be that next man. You're going to be beefing. You're going to be the next man mistakenly killing a three-year-old on a block. Because you had beef, uh, uh, drug beef in your hood. Some other dude was selling weed in your spot on the block. So you have to shoot it up. The block is hot. You have to set the block on fire. Like you set your weed or your cigarettes on fire every day. And all day. Go ahead. First Corinthians chapter 3 verse 17. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. You are the temple of God. If you destroy this temple, you are going to die. You are going to be the next man to get shot in the head. You are going to get be the next man who gets put on child support. You are going to be the next man who gets sent to prison for the rest of his life. You're going to be the next man who catch uh, nine shots in the face. 
Go ahead and read from the top. Come on, come. First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy. If you defile your temple by smoking cigarettes, you can't fight the urge. Every time you stressed out, every time you panicking, every time you depressed, you smoking a weed or a cigarette, you are defiling the temple of God. Read it over one more time, Bible Kishaw. Come on, come. If any man defile the temple of God, if any man defile the temple of God, go ahead. Him shall God destroy. The Lord is going to destroy you. For the temple of God is holy. The temple of God is holy. You are supposed to be holy. You are supposed to be separate from these heathens. Just because the white man allows you to buy cigarettes don't mean you do it. Just because the white man is allowing the legalization of marijuana in California don't mean you do it in all these other states. Just because the white man is justifying you killing yourself, just because the white man is allowing you to justify you going against the Lord don't mean you do it, man. Be strong. Stop going against what the Lord is telling you to do. Because I don't know if you know, I don't know if you read this Bible or not, but if you read the Bible, you know, if you follow the Lord's commandments, you're going to be put on high. You're going to get that mansion. You're going to get the kingdom of heaven. You're going to rule the earth. But you're not finna rule it smoking cigarettes. I can tell you that right now. That's a sin according to the Lord, according to the Bible. Go ahead, read it one more time. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. You are the temple of the Lord. You're supposed to follow what the Lord tells you to do. Go ahead and grab uh, Jeremiah 14 and 2. You are supposed to do what the Lord tells you to do. You are the temple of the Lord. Smoking weed is giving you cancer or, or making you mentally ill. You can't run five blocks while you're smoking weed. You just can't do it. You're going to die. You can't breathe. If a war broke out right now, half the hood is dead. Because they too busy smoking weed. They are not ready to fight a war. The third world war is happening. It's going to happen soon. And when it do, black, Hispanic, and Native Indians, you are not ready. You too busy smoking weed and, and cigarettes. You can't breathe. You can't run for more than, in, for more than two seconds. You too high. You too high off cigarettes and, and, and weed. You can't do it. Go ahead. Jeremiah 14 and 2. Yeah. Come on, come. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Is it? Go ahead. What do you say? Judah morning. Oh, uh, no. Get uh, 10 and 2. It's a lot. 10 and 2. Yeah. You too high. I don't know if y'all been keeping up with the news, but the war, war is coming. America's gonna shoot their missiles over to North Korea and all these other places they at war with. Go ahead. Come on, come on. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 2. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. Don't learn the way of the heathen. Don't sit here and say, um, yeah, the white man said I can smoke it. It's legal. I can go and buy it at every corner store ever. Just because you can buy it don't mean you can do it. Just because your best friend do it don't mean you do it. Just because your uncle do it don't mean you do it. Just because your girl do it don't mean you do it. You're supposed to serve the Lord, black, Hispanic, and Native Indian. That's right. You're supposed to be holy. You're supposed to be separate. Just because you, the white man allows you to be a homosexual or 
uh, pedophile don't mean you do it. You're supposed to follow the Lord in all your ways. That's your whole duty in life. So get rid of that, that, that weed. Get rid of them cigarettes. Because the men in the ISUPK, we did that already. We conquered that. And if we can do it, you can do it. You just got to be strong enough to do it. Stop making all these excuses. Stop saying, oh, I can't do it. Stop giving in to the demons that you got. Just be strong, man. Just do what you got to do. Be a man. Be a woman. Be the queen that you so-called to be. <laughs> all right? Stop making all these excuses. Stop giving in to the thing that you've been doing all your life. Because we know you've been doing it since you was little. Because you've been growing up seeing your parents do it. Just just don't do it, man. Be strong. Come into the ISUPK. We're going to teach you how to get rid of that demon. All right? And with that, I just want to say shalom, yawa, shamar, alatham, amsalaki. Shalom, yawa, bahashem, yawa, shah, brakata, to all my brother. Shalom, yawa, shamar, alatham, bahashem, yawa, shah, to all my sister. All right? Shalom, Israel.